but I'm going to give you some general ways to keep your job. I think it's important. And the first thing that you need to do is to understand your place in this landscape of employees and landscape of positions. So getting to know your environment is probably the most important thing you can do. And I call this the assessment stage. So you come in, you've got this job, you love this job, you start doing this job and you start noticing some problems with this job. Because once the, you know, the, the loveliness wears off, you still have to get up in the morning and, and go, right? And so, so the question is to not only assess what you're seeing, but I want you to really assess the entire context of the issue that you're, that you're experiencing. Think about it from the perspective of every other person involved in that. Think about it from the perspective of your boss. Think about it from the perspective of whoever created this situation or this type of environment. Who, what happened here and how did it happen and why did it happen? So that you can understand how it's playing out and what are maybe the intended or unintended consequences of what's happening right in front of you. Is it really affecting the peers that you're working with or is it just annoying you? I need you, so, so there's an external assessment that needs to be made is what's going on in this agency and how did we get to where we are and is this something that I need to bring up? So you gotta kinda do the assessment and then you have to do an internal assessment and you have to say, is this really important or is this just me trying to sound important because I'm gonna point out what's, what's wrong with that. The problem with that is, I, I love it when people say that, the problem with that is, well, let's, what about the what's, the, what's right with that? And what are the alternatives? So I really need you to do an internal assessment of what are your motives? Um, and it has to be something that you don't do in five minutes. This is something, this assessment process should be the longest part of the whole process is where you're assessing the external situation. You're assessing the, uh, the issue that's, that's, that has you kind of challenged and you're assessing your internal motivation and your internal reaction, right? Because I really feel like oftentimes when things happen to us, we react because we don't want to learn. Right? We don't want to really look at what's going on with us internally. When things hit us internally, we think, well, that's just wrong. And I would like you to just kind of stop and go, is it? Or is it me? And I don't really want to face this because this is something I've never wanted to face before.